temperatures, Jim. What's up, God? What's up? What's up, man? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are completely new, hello, I am Sincerely Nico. In today's video, as you guys can see what the title is below, it's a full face using Maybelline products from beginning to end. If you guys are interested on how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. But before we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe here to my channel. Shout out to you, XL Squads. We hit over 2.5 subscribers here, which was a goal for mine to hit in August, and we're in July. My goal was to hit 2K, and we're at 2.5. Y'all are doing the damn thing, and I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you guys. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, join me here on YouTube, be a part of the EXO Squad where it is lit on this side. <laughs> also make sure you guys turn on your post notification bell and also like this video and comment down below if you are ready for the slayage. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. Attempt this video. It's long overdue. Um, yeah, I don't have that much product from Maybelline, and this is not a sponsored video. But if you see this Maybelline, um, so I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. I really didn't like their new primers that they had. They had some multiple sticks. They had some some silicone based blurring primers, and it kind of reminds me so much of the Smashbox primers, which are kind of not my thing for oily combination skin. So I'm going to do what I normally do, which is a radiant based primer. And the best way to get that is to use a radiant BB cream. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Dream Bronze BB AM1 Beauty Balm Sun Kids Glow Perfector with SPF 25 in shade number 20 medium to bronze. A lot of people don't know or realize that a beauty balm or a CC cream typically does have a primer built into it. This has a primer kind of built into it with a little bit of SPF and it does blend right on into my skin as you guys can kind of see right there. So this is really perfect for me to apply on and blend out, throw on a powder and I'm out the door with sunscreen protection and all the good stuff but I'm going to use it as a primer today. So I'm just going to take just a smidge. So when it came down to brows, they had a lot of brow product. They had like a total temptation, they had precisely like pencil based brow products stuff like that. I was kind of more intrigued towards the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brows. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brows in shade 365 Deep Bronze. This is supposed to be like a microblading brow. Like this brush is just a little unique. It has like three little prongs built into it to disperse the product. I'm very interested in trying this out. I wanted to do a video on this. I've seen too much mouth use this as like a microblading tutorial or how to get a microblade brow look. And that kind of intrigued me a lot to get this product. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this to fill in my brows. Okay, brows are filled in. So I got this idea to do this whole full face of Maybelline from one of my good friends on Instagram. Their Instagram name is Dark Skin Makeup Daily. If you guys are a woman of color, definitely check them out. They are awesome. Um, I did pick up some Maybelline Fit Me powders. I did use these prior to on my channel, so these are not strangers. These are not completely brand new to my channel. I have them in the shade 30, which is more of a yellow undertone, and I have it in 35, which is more of a deep, warm terracotta ordeal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade number 30, I'm gonna take my body smudge, I'm gonna take the butt part, dip right on into the powder, and I'm just going to set the nose a little bit so that the foundation doesn't budge throughout the rest of the day. So when it comes down to foundations, Maybelline is nothing completely strange to me. I already know what I like in Maybelline, so I know my shade and I know exactly where to go. My tried and true from the Fit Me color is shade 368 Deep Golden. I love this a lot, hands down one of my favorite products, but I hate that it doesn't come with a pump. For the Super Stay collection, I have them in two shades. I have it in 360 Mocha and 362 Truffle. For the Maybelline Super Stay Stick Foundation, I have it in shade 316. And for concealer, I love to conceal a lot. And I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation 355 as a concealer. So foundation, nothing strange. I do have the powder as well too in shade 360. 
I love Maybelline powders. I love Maybelline liquid foundations. They are bomb.com. So for today, I'm going to be putting on the Super Stay liquid foundation. And I'm going to take the shade 362 Truffle. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over the skin. Moving on into concealing, I'm going to go ahead and take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 355. I'm just going to go ahead and conceal underneath the eyes. And I know you're probably like thinking like, why is he using a stick foundation from Maybelline as a concealer instead of actually using the concealers I tried out their Fit Me concealers and also the H Rewind and neither one of them really fit my skin tone perfect as like this one does so that's why I kind of stick with this one. Jumping into the loose powder to set the under eye area I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 30 which is the medium deep and I'm just going to take that on the sponge as well too and I'm just going to go ahead and set the face. And then to set the rest of the face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in shade 360. This is in the shade Mocha, and I'm just going to swirl off my brush. And just pounce the product on and buff. Moving on into contouring and sculpting the face. Maybelline don't really have that much of a product extension when it comes down to contouring. A lot of this stuff are already catered towards your lighter to medium complexion. As far as deep complexion goes, I found that this eyeshadow here that I'm about to show you guys definitely sculpts the face a lot. This is the Maybelline eyeshadow in shade 140S made for Mocha. This is a really pretty deep shadow that will snatch your soul. And I've used this a long time ago and I completely set it down for a moment. And this is a perfect time to pick back up some products that you know work for you. So I'm just going to take that on my number 79 brush from Sephora. And I'm just going to sculpt out the cheeks. A little bit in the temple area. For blush today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Blush in shade number 55. I already deep potted this blush. It's a really pretty plum tone brush. I'm just going to take that on my Ingo brush from Becca. And I'm just going to kind of stamp a little bit because I'm not really too much of a blusher in the blushing areas. The last thing I'm going to move in for complexion before we jump into eyes is we're going to highlight the skin. Now Maybelline does have a lot of a range of highlighters. They have the Master Plum highlighters, they also have a highlighting palette, and also a sculpting palette that has a highlighter built into it. But for me, I find that that's a little bit overwhelming and I just wanted something that was going to be very simple, easy, and peasy, and affordable. So I picked up another eyeshadow. This is the Maybelline eyeshadow in the shade 60S The Glow Down. I saw this on someone's channel as like a great affordable highlighter. It's three dollars. Both of these shadows are like three bucks. And if you can catch it on like buy one get one half for all eyes at your local drugstore or even buy one get one half at your local Ulta, this is a great alternative. Alternative. This is a great alternative to a highlighter, a more affordable version of the Master Chrome golden multi golden highlighter so if you're looking for something very cheap you don't want to break the bank with 10 bucks but you have like four dollars you can definitely get the glow down shade 60 s eyeshadow as a highlighter just i know you guys see see that glow that glow is serious honey it is serious all right guys so we're moving on into eyes i'm going to take a little bit of that fit me concealer and i'm going to just apply that with my finger warm it up I'm just going to tap that onto the lid as a eyeshadow primer. And then I'm going to move right on into the eyeshadow palette. Alright guys, so I zoomed you in guys a little bit more closer so you guys can kind of see what I'm going to be doing for the eyes today. Um, the palette that I have... The palette that I have that I use to create this look is one of the City Mini palettes and it's with collaborations with Makeup Shayla. I did do a review on this eyeshadow palette. If you guys are interested in seeing the review, then check out the eye right there above to see the review. That look was a little bit on vanguard and a lot of you guys probably didn't receive that look very well. So this is, I guess, round two of me using this palette to create a look. So. Let's get on into it. I already did one eye to see exactly what I was going to do for you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it on this eye here. So I'm going to be using my Morphe 505 blending brush. And I'm going to take that dark brown shadow in the palette. And I'm just going to apply that very sloppily in the crease. There aren't a lot of transition shades in this palette. Um, there's just 
crease, lid, shimmer, 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 shimmer. It's like only three mints and then of course three shimmers in this palette. So it's not a lot that you can get with this $10 palette. But there's a lot of cool looks that you can create if you have products outside of this palette. So I'm just going to blow this shadow out. I have been loving the blown out look lately. And I'm gonna take my Sephora number 27 brush. I'm gonna take that matte black shadow. And I'm just going to kind of stamp that right in that V area. And then I'm going to blend it out. Grabbing that Fit Me foundation that I use as a concealer, I'm going to take my concealer brush and I'm just going to cut the crease really quickly. And then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I'm going to take that bone white shadow that's in the palette. Knock off, knock off just a little bit of excess and I'm just going to press that right on top of that foundation to set it. Next, I'm going to take another small precision style brush. Give it a little bit of aqua, agua. And I'm gonna take that shimmering gold, the brightening gold out of this palette. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that on top of that bone white shadow. Switching back over to the number 27 brush, I'm gonna grab some more of that black shade. And I'm just going to kind of feather that towards that gold bond shade. Grabbing a liquid liner, this is from Jante Blue. This of course is not from Maybelline. I'm gonna go ahead and use that to align my lashes. But I'm also gonna take a little bit of the black eyeshadow from this palette to set it, because I don't want a vinyl look. I want more of a matte black liner look. Taking this e.l.f. Dome blending brush that I got for a dollar, I'm gonna go back into this palette and grab that deep brown shade, and I'm just gonna smoke that on the lower lash line. Then for a fun pop of color, I'm going to take my Morphe M321, give it a little spray. Then I'm going to take that purple shade and pop that on as an inner corner highlight. Grabbing some of that brightening gold color, I'm just going to layer that right on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on into a mascara. I'm going to take the Total Temptation Mascara and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on. Hop off camera real quickly and apply some lashes and I'll be back to do the lips. All right, so lashes are on. I just added a pair of like Demi Wispy lashes that I got from Ardell. Just something very simple. Maybelline don't really make lashes, so you gotta do what you gotta do, what you gotta do. So we're gonna go ahead and move on into lips. I have a couple of lipstick choices when it comes down to Maybelline. I have their Super State Ink lipstick in the shade Fighter. This is like a really deep coral, burnt coral shade. Really, really pretty. Definitely can vibe with that. The eye look can definitely support it as well too. I also have some other lipsticks. I have the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade called Raw Chocolate. That is Raw Chocolate. I've worn this once or twice on my channel. I actually wore it with the Makeup Shayla Eyeshadow Palette a long time ago. Then I also have another Maybelline lipstick. This is the shade called Coffee Addiction. It's a really deep brownie shade. Um, shout out to my girl, Too Much Mouth. Thank you for having me on your channel as my subscriber picks my makeup type ordeal or my subscriber to go shopping for me. Forgot the name of the title, but I will leave the link below to that video. Go check it out. I think I did an excellent job picking out the products for her for Ulta. Um, but you know, her subscribers did kind of read me fulfilled for picking cream products and you guys see me use cream products on my channel because I love them. But nevertheless, shout out to you too much mouth. You know, this is the lipstick I picked for you and you loved it, of course, but I love this lipstick so much. I cut the bullet because I put it in my my um wedding. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the shade Coffee Addiction all over the lips as a full-on volumizing lipstick. Then I'm going to take the shade from the Super Stay Matte Ink in 75 Fighter and I'm going to go apply that in the center of the lip. Then I'm going to top off the lips with a gloss. Maybelline do make glosses but they don't have a really pretty clear gloss that I like a lot. So I'm going to take the ColourPop and Ellery gloss in Stilo. I'm just gonna 
apply that right in the center of the lips. Alright guys, so this pretty much completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed me doing a full face using Maybelline products that you guys can get at your local drugstore. It was a pleasure doing this look. Turned out amazing. I didn't even know what I was going to do for eyes. It's kind of shook a little bit when this came out as a product out of this six eyeshadow palette. I was like, I don't want to do nothing crazy. I <laughs> don't want to use all the shadows. But I end up using pretty much all the shadows except for this brown bronzy shade here, which is also pretty as well, too. But nevertheless, it came out gorgeous. Cheeks popping it on for week. I am looking for this eyeshadow as a highlighter. As far as the products that I really don't recommend out of this video is the Tattoo Brow Products, the Studio Tattoo Product. I kind of had a hard time applying this brow product. I really had to like lay it flat, which defeats the purpose of the three prongs, just to get some color out. And I kind of like to elongate my tail area and can't do that on bare skin when there's nothing for it to grab. So, I mean, that's the only thing I would say to not get out of this video is that one particular product. But as far as everything that I use, you guys know I love it to death. Shout out to my homegirls over at Dark Skin Makeup Daily for inspiring me to do this video. It's long over Zoom. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know my friend on my nose who popped up last night definitely does. But other than that, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you guys are completely new and you enjoyed this content and you want to see more of my face here on YouTube. So please subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, I'm going to end this video here and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Baby.